in the next 50 minutes, uh, my focus is definitely going to be on uh, product-led growth onboarding or tech touch onboarding. Uh, but I'm going to start with talking some basic with some basic concepts and stuff. Like what are the different persona types that we should consider uh, when thinking of customer onboarding? Uh, how is Gainsight developed a product growth product-led growth framework? Uh, which supports the existing high touch customer onboarding model uh, and how to think about customer onboarding as part of that one of the part or one of the playbooks in that product led growth framework. What is onboarding? Right? Most of us know, but I want to make sure we're all aligned and on the same page about what onboarding really means. So in a nutshell, it is really proactively solving that first mile problem of our customers with our product, right? And this, this usually happens through enabling them uh, within our product with the ultimate goal of helping them achieve their outcome. Now, no matter what the nature of the SaaS business is, onboarding is a very important and key part in every customer lifecycle process, right? So there are some foundational aspects that one can build on as well as there's some nuances um, that one should consider. So, wh so why is onboarding important, right? In, in SaaS, since the barriers to canceling subscriptions are virtually almost non-existent at this point, there is a very strong need for successful onboarding as users can churn any time and sign up for a competitor competitor's product in just a few clicks. Cust like, think of customer onboarding as to be the foundational step in the entire customer life cycle, right? It's considered as one of the most strategic steps in our customer success journey. And we only have one shot, um, just like we have one shot in a date, we have one shot to make a first good impression uh, with our customers and, and when a great onboarding experience can actually help us double our trial conversion rates and ultimately reduce the customer churn, you want to make sure you do everything you can to get it right. I want to share with you the product-led growth framework fired from our CTO and co-founder's book, Nikki Allen from his first book, Mastering the Product Experience, but also in the reiteration of the framework at Gainsight, what we have done is we have very consciously uh, factored in the customer life cycle and the stages to include in this framework to make sure that we are focusing on the entire customer journey and in optimizing that customer uh, uh, customer's journey with our company, both from a high touch and a tech touch perspective. Right, so think of it, customer success plus product experience, better together, right? Uh, the outcome is a great uh, customer experience. So uh, these are the typical onboarding goals. Uh, some of these might be different than what you have seen in the past, but we are seeing uh, great success when uh, the goals for onboarding are actually focused across these four areas. So starting from a very outcome driven mindset, this is where uh, you know our CSMs do a great job, uh, including myself, I'm a CSM at Gainsight too, uh, where it's, it's great to start with understanding the goals of your customers so that we can be very prescriptive uh, and share our best practices in helping them achieve their outcomes. So really understanding and starting with their goals. And after a point, you know, like at Gainsight, uh, for working with so many, after working with so many customers, uh, based on that, we've been able to develop that PLG framework where we know typically uh, when customers are thinking of these scenarios, these are the playbooks and these are the use cases that they're thinking of. So when we have thought through the goals and the KPIs, these are the challenges that we typically have observed. And you, a lot of you may be able to re resonate with this is, is that in the onboarding phase, uh, so some of the initial challenges to get our customers successful or, or to help them get off to the race is, is the complex product configuration and setup. Right? This is true for many B2B uh, SaaS products. 
uh, the need for product know-how for ourselves, for our internal teams who are supporting the customers, also for our uh, you know customers, uh, for the need for them to understand the product and what it does. Product documentation. Every other day, I get emails from my customer asking questions on how tos, but only if we had great documentation in place imagine how much we could improve that customer experience and even internally scale our own processes rather than responding to one-on-one -on -one emails so very important for enablement but also a challenge in this process